to this tutorial i will, i want to show you how to model a uh, more uh, complex shape of uh, candelix candela in revit part one of three okay in this project i use this architectural template for this one okay before we go straight to the tutorial i would like to ask to everyone that please view every part of this video because this is a very important if you want to model a more complex shape in revit okay and if you're new on this channel don't forget to like share or subscribe so it's helping out a lot especially you're updated once i make a video tutorial okay first thing i will do is to command for the shortcut un for the units and i set this into meters okay and shortcut rp for the reference plane as my guide of this model okay i go to component model in place okay i choose the mass okay mass for this project this is more complex than the part one okay so i go to polygon okay polygon each side okay each side and mm, 20 meters okay so this is 20 meters and i just do again one here okay let's say 23 meters okay so this is more complex than the part one okay so now i place a point of every part of this polygon okay i'm adding a parameter here this is our mid okay and heat okay and now i just delete this one and select the three point element and go to spline okay so the same here okay so now once you have this okay control shift again select the two point element and spline again so
okay because as i as i have mentioned in the beginning okay this is more complex okay so that uh step that i make now is to pick this point element okay and i just simply drag it remember if you go here and drag it like this okay he's going to the wrong direction so you cannot get the middle one so what i'm going to do is to pick this okay and just go in the top of this and you can control it the point element okay so you can do it in all of the middle okay so now once you finish this okay pick this all of the middle of the point element okay hold control shift to select all the middle of okay and if you notice once you pick any one of the element you can you go here into properties you can see the offset here so this is the offset and i name it this one at top okay that is our top of this project okay so now this is the more critical here okay so i just make a slow here okay so i go to point element again Okay, point element, pick the point element. Okay, and I just place a point over here. Okay, instead of here, I want here. So it's more clear to each and everyone. Okay. Okay. So now, if you can see, okay, the point element are not the same. Okay, if I pick this point element is 6, okay, 0 0.62. And if I pick this other one, 0 0.22, okay. So what I'm going to do is to add a parameter for this one to normalize all, if all of these points, okay. So we have two uh parameters of here okay so i just simply window it all of the point element okay control shift okay to enable the point element in the middle okay and i just go to normalize curve okay and i just simply pick this and create new let's say w a okay and i just simply hit okay and hit okay okay if you see other point element are going up okay so if i go here into family types and i adjust it this into point one let's see what happened okay so if you see all of the points is in the point one okay so hit apply and hit OK. And now there is one, two, three, four point element. At least this is going also there. How I can fix the, this one? Okay. To fix that one, I just will do it all everything. Okay. And I just simply enabled also this uh, middle point element. Okay. And I just go into normalize curve parameter. I just check none. I just hit OK and I change this into the end. OK. And now I just change this into point one. OK. 
and you see all the point elements are moving up okay and now i just go here to normalize curve i rename it this into wa1 and hit okay so you keep i can control it all of the points now okay if i go to family okay and i just simply point three i just simply copy this and control b apply all the point element are controlled okay so this is very basic okay so i change it into point one okay And now I go to family types again and I just change the top of nine meters and I just go into the middle one okay into five meters and hit apply so if you will see everything is uh, now are there okay this is more complex than the part one okay so now what I'm going to do is to pick this, pick this, okay, this point element, and I just go to explain, okay, and now pick this again, pick this, okay, point element, okay, or explain and now i just change this into reference line okay including this so this is our all reference line okay so now once you finish this okay select this hold the control shift okay and create pom solid pom in the bottom there is some option here so i just choose this extrusion one okay and i just go to positive offset okay new parameter and i name it into tick okay okay i just simply change here into fine and realistic okay so it's more clear and go to family and go to tick next point two okay so now once you have this okay simply pick again this okay change it into reference line okay and I just simply pick this two Okay, create form solid and there is an option again and don't worry for this one drag it in the here okay and now I just go to the negative positive offset okay and new parameter okay Two, okay hit okay apply and I just go here and I adjust this into point three three Oop. point three Okay. So if I control shape or shape to rotate this one, okay. And now once you finish this, okay. 
control shift select this plate pump solid pump okay choose the option one and go into positive offset and this i normalize it into tick okay so you can do it all of the part of this one it's very simple to do this okay like this okay the store front okay okay wait wall use the pick line Okay, so now we already finished in this tutorial. I hope that uh, you enjoy or you can follow the procedure what uh, I do in this uh, project. So don't forget to like, share or subscribe. Okay. So thank you to all of you. See you in my next video.